One of the first questions that students ask me is, what is DevOps? Oftentimes students have heard this term if they're working in an IT organization or if they're talking to different IT vendors or reading blogs on the internet. And everybody seems to have a slightly different definition. I don't look at DevOps as being a set of processes or automation or, or tooling. I look at DevOps as, as primarily being a culture. And it's a culture that embraces collaboration and automation with the goal being to improve quality and velocity of the service delivery lifecycle. I've bolded most of the key terms in this definition that I, I really think define the essence of DevOps. It's a culture. It focuses on collaboration and automation. And its goal ultimately is to improve the quality and the velocity of the service delivery lifecycle. And we'll be looking at these terms in more detail throughout the course. Another way to look at DevOps is as a sort of a methodology that combines practices from multiple organizations, multiple groups within the IT organization. You might have like a software development team within, or within the organization and then a separate quality assurance team and a separate operations team. DevOps really kind of falls in the middle and it combines many of the practices and methodologies that were previously implemented by these separate teams. Now, that's not to say that DevOps is itself yet another team, another silo within the organization. Uh, what it means is that each of these teams, the development, the operations, the quality assurance team, are really working together. They're collaborating together to drive the increase in service velocity and quality. Why does this, this whole DevOps concept matter? I mentioned from a historical perspective how IT organizations that you know, are embracing DevOps methodologies are able to overcome some of the significant challenges they have related to service delivery and, and quality. And these challenges have been quantitatively highlighted in the recent 2018 State of DevOps report. This is a, a really a groundbreaking survey of over 25,000 technology professionals that was undertaken over a five-year period. And its purpose was to try to quantitatively understand how these practices might be associated with, with IT performance. Because up until that point, most of the, most of the you know, sort of reports were anecdotal. People were talking about you know, implementing practices to improve service delivery, and they were providing anecdotal evidence of how it was working in their organization. But the question was, from a sort of a, a, a broader global perspective, is there a way to is there a way to clearly identify what practices are improving IT performance? And what this study did was it it, it it categorized IT organizations into essentially like four different tiers, elite, high, medium, and low performers. The, the, and, and it sort of mapped this performance against a number of, of sort of software delivery characteristics. For example, in terms of deployment frequency, how often does your organization deploy code into something like a production environment? Well, low performing organizations we're deploying code anywhere between once per week and once per month. And, and frankly, in my experience, the, you know, a lot of organizations out there 
are deploying, you know, as, as infrequently as once per quarter, maybe only a couple times a year. And, and for decades, that was really the norm. I'd say most organizations that I've worked in w- would be qu- sort of, you know, quantified as, as low performers, a- according to this chart. On the opposite end of the spectrum, elite performers were organizations that were deploying changes multiple times a day to their production systems. In terms of uh, change failure rate is, is another example. So how often do you experience a failure after making a change? What's, what's your change failure rate? And th- this kind of goes to the quality of the software that you are delivering. Low IT performers have a high change failure rate. They're seeing anywhere from 46 to 60% failure rates, meaning that up to 60% of the time after they deploy a new update to production, they have a, some sort of failure uh, that or defect that they've introduced into their production service, and they have to then figure out how to quickly remediate that, that problem. Elite organizations may still introduce failures, but they introduce them at much lower rates, anywhere from 0 to 15%. And the key here is that if they do introduce a failure, the time to restore their service is very fast. So elite performers are able to restore their service in less than one hour, whereas low performers may take between one week and one month to restore their service. So you can see there's a massive difference in performance levels and the ability to deliver changes and the ability to reliably deliver changes to a production environment. The goal then for nearly every organization is to try to figure out how do we move from the low performer tier to the medium, high, and then eventually elite performance tier. And you'll learn many of the methodologies that the elite performers use. And and we'll talk about how we can introduce those within our organizations. Here's another way to kind of look at some of these uh, statistics. The elite performing organizations are able to deploy code 40 times more frequently than low performers. They're able to recover from incidents, from production incidents, over 2,000 times faster. And their change failure rate is seven times lower. These are, these are statistics that have a meaningful impact on business and on the performance of not only IT organizations, but the, the business as a whole. And this is the statistic I like the best. Organizations and, and people that work in high-performing teams are more than two times as likely to recommend their organization as a great place to work. People really like working in high-performing organizations. And if you are able to create a high-performing IT organization, you are able to attract and retain talent more easily.